everybody around the world, you know, regardless whether you're Spanish investor, British investor, American investor, German investor, uh, Chinese investor, you need gold and silver to protect your purchasing power from the inflation of national currencies. The history of national currencies this last century was one of constant inflation, constant debasement of that purchasing power of that currency, and using gold and silver as a way to protect yourself. You know, clearly there are moments in time when you want to have a lot of gold and silver, other moments in time you want to have a little gold and silver, depending on whether it's relatively overvalued or undervalued. So for example, in 1980, gold and silver were relatively overvalued, but here, even though they've appreciated as much as they have over the past several years, gold and silver are still relatively undervalued. So I think people should be concentrating on accumulating large amounts of gold and silver to protect themselves. And don't try trading gold and silver. What you should be doing is um, accumulating it, you know, month in, month out, uh, save some gold, save some silver, view it like a savings account, but you're saving sound money instead of national currency. Gold Money is a, uh, a European company. We're based in the British Channel Islands. Uh, we're storing approximately $700 million worth of gold and silver that is owned by our customers. And our customers can choose where to store it. There are two vaults that are op owned and operated by a Swiss company where we place the cu our customers' gold and silver. One is in the UK and one is in uh, Switzerland. And customers can choose. We have customers in over 100 different countries around the world. Um, and you know, people are coming to gold money because they find that it's not only a safe way to buy physical gold and physical silver, but it's also very cost effective.